Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you the Android app called Adobe Rush. And I believe Adobe Rush at this moment is one of the best video editing apps you can get for your Dex, for your Android. Uh, it is a bit pricey, but uh, if you are a professional video editor and you, want, you need to edit videos on the go, Adobe Rush is basically the best choice for you. To get Adobe Rush on your Dex station, there is a two ways you can do this. You can go to a Google Play Store and download from there, or you can go to Samsung Galaxy App Store and download from there. If you go via a Galaxy Android, Samsung, and Samsung Galaxy App Store, the app that you will download it will could be called um, Adobe Rush for Samsung. And with that app, you have a promotion which is happening at this moment as I'm recording this video, where you're paying a six pound something in the month um, instead of paying a full price. So uh, let's start. I'll open the Rush app. So Rush for Samsung. Obviously, and now I have an option to create a new project or just pr press plus sign and keep going. So I'm gonna click create new project and these four two videos, two photos I just shot just before this video. So let's call this project Dex. And obviously I can sync with my Creative Cloud if I have an account. If you have an account, you can create, you can sync with Creative Cloud and you have options to import photos, videos. Device folder, if you you can go and find the video audio inside the device folder, somewhere in downloads folder or whatnot. And then obviously you can connect to a Dropbox and you can pull from there. I tried to do this via Dropbox, but <clears throat> basically I want to edit the video. So I need to open the Rush app and then go to Dropbox and then wait for video to be synced to the to the app before they even edit. So imagine if you shot something which is to combine like five or 10 gigabytes of videos. Um, it's a bit uh, pain to wait until everything is being downloaded and ready for you to edit. So um. I, I suggest to download all the videos since on the phone or on the device first before you even starting editing the videos. So I have selected my four four shots. These two one and number one and number two are videos and four uh, three and four are basically are photos. Name Dex and click create. <coughs> and that's how they're gonna be in end up in the timeline. It's gonna be one, two, three, four. So right now, if I move the with the with the uh, mouse, as you can see I can go between the the timeline and have a look I try to find the uh, the what's this called the quick quick um, quick keyboard shortcut key for getting into my phone just decided to be disconnected anyway um, for basically zooming in and out which is not possible on the Dex well I couldn't figure out what's a, a shortcut key to expand or, or reduce the, the, the snippets on the timeline. But some of the shortcut keys I noticed, uh, first one is S. S stands for split or, or slice. Uh, S always slice, the, as you can see, the, the video in, in the portion. So whatever you stop, you press S and it just cuts in that position. <coughs> U, when you press U, as you can see, it expands more and you see all more timelines here. So we can have a main timeline, as you can see, there's a uh, two voiceovers and etc etc which you can do the top right button it basically takes everything back so i just read uh, and i'm done all the cuts i don't know how to close that this because by clicking you nothing's happening <coughs> t yeah if you press t it gives you a title option so you can add the title so let me add the title i think i need to click and hold here we go so let's delete this and call rush not a problem uh, enter I think it goes in and then I can move around and can place whatever I want uh, inside the video let's say I wanna somewhere I don't know top right corner so that's that let's have a look how it goes hello everybody and thank you very much for watching this is the okay fine that not a problem a couple of uh, amazing features that this app has and let me try to remember where to go it's under this icon which is represents the audio and now it says voice detectors. This obvious app uh, tries to detect what <clears throat> audio input it is. Is it the music or voice or other? So uh, app detector is me who's talking and let's kill this. And it's just to said this is voice. That's fine. Reduce, uh, balance the sound. So if I press on that, the app will try to balance the, <clears throat> the sound and it's not going to sound so harsh. So let's have a look. 
Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. This is the Adobe Rush Android app on the Dex. Okay, not bad. Uh, there is an option obviously to reduce the noise. So if I click reduce the noise and leave it at 50 at default, let's see what's going to happen. Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. This is the Adobe Rush Android app on the Dex. In this video, as you can see, this clip has got a lot of noise. So if I'll select this one and if I go to other and it's not giving me option to reduce the noise obviously or reduce the noise only and the voice and what's in the music auto duck okay mm so only on side the voice option you can have the reduced noise which is uh, not great anyway uh, clip uh, clip audio let's reduce that to somewhere six percent so all entire audios right now are going to be very very quiet and everything's fine just going through it not a problem and then a couple of still shots with the still shots and if you if you're doing a product reviews etc let's say you can insert the instead of titles you can insert a thing which is called um under here inside the these uh these two or uh, 28 pages uh, you can't see it's 28 pages because my camera is blocking anyway inside here there is an option like this so let me see if i can add this one into my video okay so that's added so next layer okay this is not great this is not what i wanted okay let's add this one let's see yes next layer i want to i want to add sort of like a pin which is directs you to uh to a specific product <clears throat> let me try this one it's called flashing call out okay mm, boom has been added it says next text layer okay can you somehow reduce okay so reduce this one okay let's call this I'm just trying some things I, I tried I did in a couple of my videos using this app I used to uh, to power director so this is all new to me so it's obviously uh, trial and error basically with these kind of apps uh, fine I did this one I can basically can play around I'm, I'm here not to teach <laughs> not to teach how to edit videos I'm here just to show you that there is an app on a DAX which is very good to editing videos if you know what you're doing and you are much better than I am okay what else transitions okay they at the moment they give you only free transition dip to white dip to black and cross dissolve so we're gonna we're gonna try cross dissolve add here and let's see how it goes yeah on the decks fine uh i think p p for play and pause i thought there's a space in the beginning but then i was clicking space and nothing was working so that's this 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 um obviously we can, you can add the voiceover by clicking on here and allow audio so technically right now should record my audio and hopefully you'll be able to hear it okay so let's have a look how it sounds dex should record my audio and hopefully you'll be able to hear it okay. not bad obviously if i click on audio and go to audio settings i can reduce the noise if i want to and add the balance and reduce echo there is no echo so let's have a look again on the dex should record my audio and hopefully you'll be able to hear it to be honest the audio end up with like small tweaks from actual phone microphone is not bad at all so i'm quite quite happy with that uh another thing you can do obviously in this is do all the color color correction so if i go to here and as you can see there is exposure contrast highlights and etc which ones you want to you can tweak with them without the problem what i'm thinking about this app to be used is uh would be brilliant to be used with this kind of thing which is uh we max it portable touch screen monitor um i'm gonna try actually to use this app for a couple of days on the touch screen monitor if i'll see that there's any good better improvements of usage and etc i'll might do another video just to cover that one but i can see that with the mouse and keyboard obviously shortcut keys that is that's great it's just um I don't know it's the it's it feels it's better than than some of the android 
video editing apps. It's, I would say it's slightly better than PowerDirector, but it's still, uh, obviously, it's not the PC version, so do not expect everything brilliant on here. But to be honest, it's not bad. Again, um, the monthly the monthly price. So let's say uh, I, I recorded this, done this, etc. Click share. At the beginning, they give you free, f free, free export for you to try. So on the quality settings, let me quickly choose into uh, 1080p, 30 uh, FPS. File size estimation is 12 and 80 megabytes. That's fine. If I, I need to export, I'm going to use one of these free, 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 free export tokens. But if I want to buy, as you can see, for a limited time, Samsung customers pay is just six pounds fifteen a month, uh, and a very regular price will be seven pounds and sixty nine, seven pounds seventy. So okay, even if it's better, I cannot see myself using this day to day, because uh, everything what I need to use, the power director really does for me. Okay, there is no fancy the audio noise reduction and etc. etc. But then, I don't know, it's, it's just, if you're professional, you're editing a lot of videos and you already have Adobe Cloud account and etc. Adobe Rush program, I believe is included in your account. I don't know, you need to double check that with, with the uh, actual Adobe. So just for ordinary person spending nearly eight pounds a month for the uh, video editing app, which let's see me, I might use it just a handful of times a month five maybe six so to edit a video basically end up i'll end up spending spending one pound ish per video for editing when power director paid 10 pence on sale and i'm using still now i, I stopped using kai master because they increased the price so anyway i'm labbing away and so you go adobe rush available on the decks if you go via Play Store, you get one version. If you go via Samsung Galaxy Store, you get another version. The sort of the versions are exactly the same, just the promotions are different. So obviously, you are if you're watching this video, you are the Dex user. So go into the Galaxy Store, download. You have free exports to try. Go play around. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, and I'll do another video. Like I said, when I'll stop, when I'll use this app with the touch screen for a couple of times and see what's going to happen. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.